What's up? It's Danny Horgan of theawesomecave.com and I am here fucking rocking out to one of 8-Bit Hip Hop's rising young stars. I'm talking of course about Austin Acid who we have here with us on our YouTube channel today. How's it going today, man? It's going great, man. Just chilling, you know? Austin recently put out his debut album, The Arcade. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about his career. But first and foremost, we have some very important questions. Question number one. What would you do if Oprah walked into your room wearing nothing but a trench coat? I would greet her with a happy smile on my face, and then I would proceed to show her my album, and then if she happened to like it, maybe it would go, you know, on the Oprah Winfrey show and people could hear it. You never know. Question number two, and I've done a lot of research on this. I made a whole video blog about it. If you're watching this channel for the first time, check the video blog out, explore the issue. Why do girls always giggle when they eat junk food? I watched that video, uh, Danny. Great video, by the way. Um, I have no clue why they giggle when they eat junk food. Uh, maybe it's something mentally. Just, just the whatever's in the junk food, whenever you eat it, it sends a happy sensation to their brain and it just makes them happy. I don't know, because I... No, if I was getting insanely fat or anything like that, I wouldn't laugh at becoming obese. So I have no clue. No offense to fat people. I love you as well. So at this point in your career, you developed a pretty steady following. You have a lot of kids on your Facebook page. You have a lot of kids on your YouTube. Um, a lot of people really digging what Austin Acid is doing. Tell us about your start in hip hop, who your influences are, how you got into music. My start in hip hop. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, excuse me, by the way. Um, I always wrote like lyrics and verses and stuff when I was a kid. I will. I'm not gonna say a kid per se. Well, yeah, I was still a kid. I probably started about sixth grade, and you know, in sixth grade, you know, I would just sit there, keep to myself, and write, you know, lyrics and stuff, and then. You know, I just never would show anybody. And then finally, about three years ago, I met um, Casper the Prodigy and Shadowak VG you know, about three or four years ago. And we, um, I just showed them the stuff, told them I wanted to get into rapping, and then that's what happened. As far as influences go, everything around me influences me. I can't really say that a certain rapper uh, influences my music because I try to be as original as I can. So I guess, um, I don't mean to seem egotistical when I say this, but I guess you could say that I in somewhat influence myself. Now rappers that I listen to and that I like, a uh, big Wu-Tang Clan fan, big Wu-Tang Clan. Fan. I mean, I say that five times fast. Wu Tang Clan fan, Wu Tang Clan, you know. But uh, I love them. Uh, Brother Ali, Ideas and Abilities, POS, uh, some nerdcore artists, MC Chris, Kabuto the Python. Uh, I like No Emotion. Shout outs to all those guys. Uh, also, shout outs to rap as a joke. You guys need to check them out too. L Money and Frank Stacks, they're really dope. Um, but no, I guess those are just some artists that I dabble in and that I like. And there's tons more, but I'm not going to get into all that. Like KRS One, A Tribe Called Quest. I like more of the old school hip hop era and everything. And I guess I just. They, they kind of influence me a, t a tad bit. Everything just influences me around my life and everything. For this album, you shot a music video for the song Lost in Dreamland. Talk about the process of shooting that video. The process of shooting the video... Okay. Well, it was me, Casper the Prodigy, and Rondo, because we're in the music video. Um, my homie Alex Hamilton, he is uh, part of uh, Mega Productions. He owns it and everything. And he was the one that actually shot the music video, edited it and everything. So shout-outs to him for that. And my girlfriend was there for moral support. 
but basically we just chose our spots and the premise for the music video we wanted it to be like I fall asleep you know at my computer desk like it shows I wake up and I'm in a dreamland and we just did what we just used what was around us to make it a quote unquote dreamland and it was just I don't know it was it was very very time consuming but it was worth it I loved working with them they're awesome you know everybody's awesome I love Casper the Project I love Rondo I love Alex my girlfriend of course I love her and it was just cool working with everybody and just trying to achieve what we wanted because everybody was putting in their input and throwing out ideas and we were all just working together and it was awesome in my humble opinion, the best song on your new album is Bounty Hunting. Um, that is a very cool chorus, very bizarre sounds. What program do you use to make your music? How do you engineer a sound like that? I actually make my music right here what I'm, where I'm sitting, in my bedroom. Uh, let me see if I can grab this. It's my microphone. It's my little mic set up right here, uh, MXL 990 mic with um, the shock mount, the pop filter, it's a USB condenser mic. And I use Mixcraft 5, believe it or not. I know I'll probably be looked down for that, but that's what I use. And basically, I just record, mix and master everything myself, just by myself, all of my own music, like I said, right here. And like one day, I can't tell you exactly how I achieve different sounds because if I did that we'd be in a big 30 40 minute segment but I can tell you how I learned it was just by myself I never watched a tutorial or anything like that I sat in my room for I'm gonna say like you know a few days or something and I just learned it myself and I just tried to learn everything learn the whole program know how to use it and everything and so I'm still gradually learning, but I just got to where I am today because of that. And it, I don't know, it's just, I know in the chorus, the bounty hunting for fun, like that was me just saying, you know, bounty hunting for fun, you know why I kill these beats, I got that bebop for you cowboys killing in the streets, like that's all me and all I did was turn the pitch up on it so it makes it sound like the chipmunk sound, so it's just it's different for every song that I do how far do you want to go into hip-hop what's your ultimate goal as a musician how far do I want to go in hip-hop well I would like to make it just my job in general I love all the fans that I have right now shout outs to all of you thanks for the support by the way I just I want to be able to live comfortably with music as my means of income like I want to be able it doesn't matter if I'm living in like a one bedroom apartment as long as music is paying for food on my table and paying for all of the bills and if fame and fortune come you know to me then I'll just embrace it happily and you know, thank God that I was blessed with everything. Anything in closing for the AwesomeCave.com viewers? Uh, thank you, Danny, for interviewing me and everything. It's been an honor to be on part of the AwesomeCave.com. I support everything you do fully, and I support all of the viewers and whatever they do. My debut album, The Arcade, dropped May 28th, as Danny Horgan said, so cop that it's a free download I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere in the description possibly um, I'm actually working on an EP titled origins of a supervillain so look out for that it'll be for free download too of course I don't like selling my music um, music to me is a is freedom of speech and I don't want to put a price on freedom of speech so it's because it's a form of expressing yourself um, shout outs to Casper the Prodigy, Rondo, The Writing Ideal, uh, Mega Clothing, Mega Productions, uh, Rap is a Joke, 
um, all of Stellar Squad Entertainment, like Grizzly, Suicide, all of you guys, uh, my girlfriend, my grandmother, uh, Sonic, Kirby, not the video game characters, the the artists, uh, Kirby is Toxic Sky Meltdown, Headless, and just everybody that supported me, oh, my producer, Ricey K, and Casper the Prodigy and Rondo also produced for me as well, um, but like I said, Ricey K, just everybody that supported me thus far, and hopefully everybody new that starts supporting me, I love all of you guys, all of the fans that support me, everybody, and I thank you, like, with, from the bottom of my heart, and I also uh, would like to shout out and thank uh, God for just blessing me with everything that I have.